right, we're back here at After Hours Auto Works, and uh, I'm going to kind of go through the tail light and tail wire, tail light wiring system that I put together. Now, we, out of these two whole halves of Cherokees, you can imagine there was a big, huge wiring harness and big, big mess of stuff. But I really simplified it, and I, maybe you can use this on your camper dealing with your HJ uh, system or even a, any kind of uh, Japanese style uh, export uh, you know, model that has the independent turn signals. Uh, these XJs were equipped with independent uh, yellow amber style turn signals. So I'm gonna show you how I did this and, uh, and, and maybe this will help me. All right, to start with, I just plugged into my regular con uh, harness right there and came off with a loom a wiring loom down to the bottom here bring all those wires outside now some of you may ask and be asking what about the the four pin style uh, trailer hookup for my regular utility trailer well what i'm going to do is, is i'm going to have me one that i can hook up right there then i can hook up to my old school trailer and that's fine but then i also have my plug for my camper so off of this i fed all five wires you have you have to have five different wires plus a ground so i fed out of six i basically used just an old drop cord i took an old regular old junk drop cord out of my shop it's cheaper for me to buy a drop cord than it is six wire trailer tail lights so I just want, I'm just going to go buy me a brand new drop cord for my shop and use my old drop cord for this project. I fed two of them together right straight up inside my tubing. Went straight up through that conduit that I had showed you in previous videos. Up underneath my seat. Flip flop seat system. Right there it is. Two old drop cords running right straight back here. I just knocked a hole in the floor right there where I had a rust hole just come up through there because I got to patch all that anyway. It's not a big deal. So come right here and I come up in here. Now some of you may be confused talking about six wires. Well, here here's the layout. You have a, have a ground wire, tail light, brake, left side turn right side turn and a reverse that's what and i even hooked up my reverse lights back here so as i'm backing into a camping spot i can have that luxury of an extra tail light there for back up all right so my ground wire off of one of these ties into here now right here this little loom right here this wire loom here is from my rear here just like the original was it was running right here runs across here now i'm gonna tuck this inside these columns here just like the original was feed it over in there it's not a big deal right now i got it loose because i still got to do all my paint work and everything right here i got this these wires loose because from this hole here up over i will be feeding to my original tag light you know how they'll bust you for a darn tag light around this thing. Yeah. All right, so off of that, then by utilizing the ground, that leaves me with the other five. A tail light that'll run my front and my rear. That'll leave me brakes for the rear only. My reverse for the rear only. And my turn signals for all the way around, okay? And so that's where these come into play here now to get power to my front light my running lights there i used utilizing another old piece of a drop cord i took this old piece of three wire drop cord here and i ran it up and over and straight down to my front okay so in the rear we got brake lights tail lights got a left side turn got a reverse Got a brake light, tail light, left, a right side turn, and a and a, a backup light. Then this wire here, like I said, it's feeding around and it's feeding straight up there to the front. And as it feeds to the front here, 
Now, it, will, it comes across here and it ties in right here. And I got a piece running over on that side that's feeding my only my ambers up here. It's only running my ambers. I, they're, they're, we're going to have a tail light that I actually work as a marker light. Then it will also do the turn signals. As I turn on my turn signal, it'll have that side turn signal. And I'll, these are red ones, depending on how I work the paint scheme up, I may just go ahead and color in, paint in these, these red ones here and just have my ambers up front. So that's how we're doing the uh, turn and tail lights and all. It's uh, actually when you simplify it to that point, just run six leads all the way back, your old three wire uh, style drop cord, running the two of them back, it pops up a six, you use a ground, and then off of that, you turn around and turn, turn uh, tie in the uh, other ones that you need. So it really simplified everything. So I hope this helps you out and uh, maybe you, it'll help you on your project. Uh, stay tuned for our next video.